Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are inside of Affinity Photo V2 and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can put together some seamless patterns. So the first thing that you want to do in the new document pop-up box is go ahead and select the size canvas that we want to use for this. So the size canvas I recommend is going to be 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. So what you need to do first of all is just come down to where it says document units. Go ahead and change that into pixels pixels if you're not already on there then what we need to do next is pay attention to the page width and the page height go ahead and change both of those to 1000 then what you want to do after that is just make sure that your dpi is set to 300 as that is going to give you the best print quality we're not going to need these margins here on this document so we'll just go ahead and click on that margin tab and just deselect that one go back over to our layout so what I recommend you do at this point so we don't have to set this up every time you want to make a pattern is just to go ahead and save this as a preset and the way that you would do that is just at the top here where we have this button that says save preset as go ahead and select that give your preset a name I'm going to call this pattern then inside of the category section right here, we're going to go down to where it says my presets at the bottom. That is going to be your custom presets. So we'll go ahead and select that one and we'll click OK. And now you can see on the left hand side inside of all of our different sizes, if we go all the way down to the bottom, that is where you're going to find my presets. And there is our pattern one that we just created. So in future, all we have to do once we open up Affinity Photo is just come all the way down to the bottom, select our pattern one, double tap on that to open, and then we are set up and ready to go. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is bring in some images or different kind of shapes in here just to make ourselves a pattern. And you may find in other videos that you may have watched that people generally just go into the shape building tools and they will just select all different shapes in here and they'll just start making their own patterns out of shapes. And that is perfectly fine if that's what you're going for. However, I like to be a little bit more creative and I want to use some images myself just so it looks like a little bit more artistic. So a website I recommend using is going to be Pixabay as we're going to be able to find some vector graphics in there for free. So if you make your way over to Google and search up Pixabay, it will bring you to this website right here. And all we've got to do inside of our search bar menu is we're going to change all images over here on the right hand side over to vectors. Then we're just going to search for the kind of images that we want to use. And because I'm going to make this video as quick as possible, I'm just going to type in Easter and see what we can find inside of here. So the reason I want you guys to use vector graphics is because it's going to remove all the background from all of these images right here, which is going to make it look a lot better when we come to repeat our pattern. So what I'm going to do first of all is find one of the images that I'm going to use as a starting point. And I think I'm going to use this one right here of this chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one. Then all we've got to do inside of here is just hover over the image, right click on your mouse, go down to where it says copy image. Then we'll just simply head back into Affinity Photo then inside of here what we need to do is just make sure that we are on our move tool on the left hand side toolbar panel then we just right click on our mouse and we can just hit paste then that will copy that image from Pixabay into Affinity Photo then all we've got to do next is just resize this by grabbing these handles on the side and just dragging that down a little bit and it's completely up to you how big or small you want these. I'm going to go just a little bit smaller. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use this image for our corner pieces. And the way we're going to make this work is just by focusing on these little nodes that we have around the edges. I want to snap this one in the middle up here into this top corner. So first of all, I'll just grab this and drag it over and let that snap. And I'm going to pull that up and just let that snap into place. Then I'm going to move it just a little bit more up so this one right here snaps up onto this top piece. So I'm going to bring that up, let that snap into place with the red line, just like that. So that is our first corner piece done. Then what we need to do next is make a copy of this image. So we're going to hit Command or Control C on your keyboard. And then you're going to paste that with Command or Control V. And over in our layers you can now see that we have two different images of the same one. But what we need to do with this second image is we've got to move it over to the other corner on the right hand side. And just to make sure that we get this perfect with no problems whatsoever, we're going to use our transform menu just down here on the bottom right hand corner. If you guys aren't seeing this transform menu, then just simply head up to the top menu bar to where it says window. Make your way towards the bottom to where it says transform and just make sure you have that checked. 
then you also have access to the transform menu. So what we need to do inside of this menu is focus on our X and Y coordinates. The X coordinates is going to be your left and right, whereas your Y is going to be up and down. And the only thing that's really important to remember with this is going to be the size of our tile or our canvas that we have right here, which if you remember is 1000 by 1000. So in order for this to snap into place exactly where we need it, we need to move the second image 1000 pixels over to the right hand side. And the way that we would do that is by going down to our transform menu inside of the X as that is going to be our left and the right. We want to leave that number the way it is at the moment. But at the end of this, we want to write plus on our keyboard and then put 1000 for 1000 pixels. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard then that will move that into the correct position over on the right hand side. And now we just need to kind of do the same thing on the bottom corners. So this time around, we're going to make another copy of this second one right here with command or control C, then command or control V to paste. And over in our layers, you can now see we have that third image. This time round, we're not going to use the X coordinates because we need to go down. So we've got to focus on the Y. So once again, leave that number the way it is at the end of the pixels right there. Just write in plus 1000 once again, go ahead and hit enter. Then that will move that into position where we need it. Then we'll do the exact same thing again. We're going to make another copy of this one with command or control C, then command or control V to paste that. Then on our fourth image, we now need to deduct 1000 pixels as we're now moving over to the left hand side. So over on the X again, because we are moving to the left, this time around, instead of putting plus, we're going to put minus 1000. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. Then that will line up exactly where we need it to go. So that now is the first step complete. And all we've got to do now is go back and just find some more images that we want to bring into this. So we'll make our way back over the Pixabay. I'll just go back to the other images and I'll find something else to work with. So I'll go ahead and grab this egg right here. You guys are free to use any images that you like. It's entirely up to you. You don't have to search for Easter. You can search for Christmas, any kind of theme, Halloween, whatever it is that you want to create. But because I want to keep this video fairly quick, I'm just going to stick with this Easter theme. So once again, once you load the image up, just right click on your mouse, go down and copy image. Go back into Affinity Photo 2 or in Affinity V1. It really doesn't matter which one you are on. You can do this in both versions. So once again, we'll right click and we'll paste and then we just need to resize this. So we'll grab that corner node right there. Drag that down to the rough size that we want. Go ahead and just rotate that a little bit just to give it a little bit more of a design difference and what I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to move this up here a little bit and I'm going to make a copy of this one just by holding down alt or option on your keyboard just drag that out and I'm going to put a few of these just around the canvas just to fill up a bit of this white space and just randomly put these wherever you like it's entirely up to you and I recommend just rotating some of these around just so they look a little bit different from each other it's going to look better when you come and put your pattern together so once again, we'll go back into Pixabay and just find a few more images and I'll come down and grab this one right here. So I'm not going to make this design too professional as I want to be quite quick with the video. So I'm going to quickly put it together, but hopefully you guys will spend a bit more time on it and make it look better than I will. So once again, just right click on your mouse, copy that image, go back into Affinity Photo, paste that in with the right click on your mouse, resize that image so it's a lot smaller then go ahead and position this where you want it to go. So this one, I'm going to have this cut off as well. So I think I'm going to put it up here, make that a little bit smaller. I think just line that up in the center with that two nodes right there in the middle, seeing that red line. Then just like before, we'll make a copy of this. So we hit command or control C, then command or control V to paste. Then we'll come back down to our transform menu. And remember this time we're going down again. So we want to focus on our Y. So at the end of this, we're going to put plus 1000. Hit enter on your keyboard and then that will place that down the bottom. Then we'll go and grab a couple of more images. At this point, I may speed the video up a bit so you guys don't have to keep seeing me come back and forth through the images. So I've now added all of the images that I'm going to use for this design. You guys are free to add as many images as you like. You can have more than this. You can have less than this. You can resize them to be bigger or smaller. That is entirely up to you. Just remember, once you do put all of these on the corners like I've done here, just make a copy of that, then plus or minus that thousand pixels, depending on which direction you are going in. Same as the top and the bottom. 
So there is our design finished and that is the hardest part of this done. So what we need to do next is either go ahead and save this as an affinity photo file. If you guys want to come back later on down the line and maybe change some of these images around or remove or delete them or add additional ones. And you can do that simply by going up to file on the top menu bar, go down to where it says save as, give that a name and just make sure that you do save that as an affinity photo file. So you can always come back and edit that later on down the line. However, to make this work as our pattern, we don't want to save it that way. What we want to do is save this as a PNG. And the way that we would do that is by going back up to the file menu on the top left hand side, go down towards the bottom to where it says export. Inside of here, just make sure that we have chosen the PNG option and your size remains at 1000 pixels by that 1000 pixels. Then what we're going to do is come down towards the bottom to where it says export, select that option. Then we're going to give this a name. So I'm going to call this Easter. Then save this anywhere on your hard drive and then go ahead and hit save. Then what we want to do is just open up that PNG file that we just created. So if we go up to the top menu bar to where it says file, go down to where it says open. Inside of here, we're going to choose our Easter PNG that we just created. So we'll double tap on that. And now that has imported this into Affinity Photo. So over on the right hand side in our layers, you can see our background, which we just imported. With that selected and highlighted in blue, what we need to do next is go up to the top menu bar to where it says layer. Then we're going to choose this option right here that says new pattern from selection. So go ahead and select that one. And now you can see over on our layers, we have these two different versions, one being the pattern and one being our original. We'll go ahead and delete the original as we don't need that in here at the moment. And now we are left with our pattern layer. So it doesn't really seem like anything has happened at this point but I will show you just how this works in just a moment. But I wanna give you a little tip before I move on to this next step, which you will find really useful if you find that you start creating loads and loads of different patterns, as it's gonna be a really good way to keep them organized and always have access to them without having to search through your computer. And the way we're gonna do that is by turning this into an asset. So if you make your way up to the window menu on your top menu bar, we're gonna go down and we're gonna make sure that we have our assets open. Then over to the left hand side inside of our assets folder right here, we're going to come to these little three lines and we're going to open that up. We're going to create a new category and you can name this anything you like, but I'm going to call this patterns. Then go ahead and hit OK. And now inside of our assets, you can see that we have this new patterns folder right there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our move tool just over here on the left hand side. We're going to grab our pattern right here and we're going to drag this over and we're going to drop it inside of our assets. And now this pattern is saved inside of here for any time that we want to use it in the future. And this step right here really isn't required, but you guys are definitely going to want to do this if you start creating lots of different patterns. You just simply create all your different patterns and once again, just drag that in and drop it. And we'll just cover that again in just a moment. But what we're going to do now is just show you how this actually works. So if we make our way up to the top menu bar to file, we'll go to new and we're just going to create ourselves a new canvas. This can be any size that you like. It really doesn't matter. It can be as big, as small as you want. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to choose this full HD one right there. And I'll just double tap on that to open it up. Then you can see that we still have our assets panel over here on the left hand side. And all we've got to do inside of here is grab this, drag it over and drop it. And now you can see that we can move it around and it all just completely lines up perfectly. And you can't see any lines or any problems cutting through any of these images where it matches up. So we can move that around as much as you like. But what we also can do is that we can resize this with these handles just here around this box. If we resize that, it's going to make it smaller, but it's going to keep repeating that pattern as many times as you like. So this is going to be really good if you wanted to make maybe Easter wrapping paper. And we can just move that around and we can also rotate this if you want to give that a different angle. It's entirely up to you. So I'll go ahead and just hit command or control Z just to undo that. And it really is that simple. So because I said you didn't have to use the assets if you didn't want to, we'll go ahead and we'll just delete this pattern for a moment. So we just got our blank canvas again. If we go back into our original project where we just created our pattern, instead of dragging that into our assets and using the asset option, all we're going to generally do is just copy the layer over here in our layers panel. So just right click, copy, come into the new canvas, then just paste that in with right click and paste. And you can do the exact same thing that way. 
grab your move tool and just start moving that around. Same principles before, just resize that however you like. But you can see just how useful the assets is going to be if you start making plenty of these. So what I'm gonna quickly do is just open up another one from a different pattern I've created, which is this flowers one right there. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing here with the layer selected as this is a PNG file currently. I'll make my way up to the top menu to where it says layer, back down towards new pattern layer from selection. Then I'll go ahead and delete the PNG as I don't need it. Go and grab my move tool and I'm going to drag this one now inside of my assets. So you can now see that I have both of these different patterns inside of there. And I'll just quickly go back over to that pattern that we just created over here on this canvas, delete that one. And you can see that we can just simply drag the flowers one instead and just resize that and it does the exact same thing as the other one did. If you didn't like that, you can just simply delete that, go back into your assets and just drag over the Easter one again. And you can have as many of these as you like inside of your assets. It will just start building a bigger and bigger and bigger collection. And you can make additional categories if you have certain themes just by selecting new category. And you can maybe put Halloween patterns, Easter patterns, Christmas patterns, etc. And of course, it's always a good idea just to right click on any of these patterns just to rename them and call them anything that you would like it to be. So I'll just put Easter on this one and the other one next to that, I right click that and I'll call this one Flowers. And if you don't want to use your assets panel, we just go back up to window and you just turn that off. And you can always come back at any point to the assets panel. So I'll just go ahead and just delete that real quick just by going back up to your window, back down to assets. And you're always going to have access to these patterns like I stated. Just drag that in once again and resize that. And then inside this drop down menu here is where you're going to find all your different categories for whatever it is you created. So just before I wrap this video up, I do want to mention that you can find vector files all over the internet of all different kinds of designs that you can use for your patterns. You don't have to use Pixabay if you don't want to. However, some sites are going to be royalty free like Pixabay, so you can use those however you like, whereas others may be paid graphics, so you may have to pay for those if you want to use those for profit. So that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it useful and I will see you in the next one.